Bunnies, Eels versus the Bunnies. Is this going to be Joy Arrow's last game? That was a speculation anyway. He has been named. Before we get into this, though, let's go back to the semi-final of 2020. And the Cooks kicks out, puts a little kick in, cleaned up. No, did Gutherson, did he touch it down? Souths have got themselves a try. Across the face of Gutherson, it's come away. And Dylan Brown, it's intercepted. And Paulo is on his way to the line for the second time this evening. He'd be waiting for quite some time. Moses puts a couple of grubbers in before Cook picks it up. And then he sprints through. Damien sprints through. Down the right side. Steps again. And Cookie goes in for another try. From 18-8 leading Parramatta. Have gone down 38 to 24. 38 to 24 in 2020. That semi final, as far as team news is concerned. No Mike Acevo. He's out of the clash, which means debutant Jake Tungor, the brother of Isaac Tungor, is coming into the side for the Parramatta Eels. He's going to be on the dingaling on the wing. Uh, Charlie Gaiman will also make his debut off the bench. And Makahesi Makatara is the man to make way. Now for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Cameron Murray and Latrell Mitchell are back after missing the win over Manly on Blues origin duty. So Michael Cheekham goes to the bench. And Jai Gray, Brian? Where is he? 18th man. Oh, surely they, they 18th think man. It, surely they think about putting him in. Well, maybe it's still on the... I don't know. Maybe they're just playing as... Oh. Uh, who used to say Ducks and Drapes? Uh, Was that Gibbo? Ezra. Ezra. <laughs> Ezra, man. Ducks and Drapes. Um... But in saying that, they have won four on the trot when Latrell's been at fullback. So maybe they're, they're just thinking, don't change. But I would have him in. Just have him doing all. Because the kid, he runs for 180, 100, 200 metres a game. Sharky's take on the Titans. This game in Coffs Harbour. Yes. Coffs International Stadium. C.X. Coffs International Stadium. They have won nine in a row against the Gold Coast Titans, the Sharkies. And they are three from three. In Coffs Harbour. So if you're a stats boffin, mm. uh, they are looking pretty good for this one. How do you see it? Sharks. Big man. Shark. Oh, I'm like the big man. <laughs> big man. I'm going to look at me more. Um, <laughs> Daniel Atkinson comes in on the wing for Ooh. Katoa, the head knock. It's the only change. Wow. Can you see this running out like this as per program? I can't see that. Daniel Atkinson. Who's on the bench? Anyone... I can. He's played a lot of fullback. I actually think that will. Oh, okay. Well, there I you think go. that will be the case. All right. Well, he's on the wing. There you go. Uh, for the Titans, Brimson is back from that groin injury. So he's going to be 5'8 at good time because Jaden Campbell's broken oh. his hand. So he's out for a one out, couple of weeks. In. Yeah. JJ Fafita is back after missing the Warriors game. And Philip Sami goes back to the centres and size seven baby feet both for more. <laughs> the trotter. He's back into the pack. <laughs> the Mo Fodawaka is back from Marone's duty. And there we have it. So tricky, Isaac Farmer Suwa he's gone. So the Sharkies have won one of their last five, Brian. Wow, this is a big game. This Gold is Coast, a huge game. Are close to my holiday maker theory. I'm not prepared to say it just yet. You know the ones who are out of the running on the road. Yeah, I, I'm not. I think this is their last chance saloon. So I'm not saying they're holiday makers, but they're getting extremely close. We move on to. Ooh. Okay, can I say this? Can I? Can, I'm going to throw this up. If AJ just has an absolute stormer at six, absolutely brains him. Is there in any world he starts at six? Or Tommy Deaton. I, I reckon he'll be in the centres. Origin. Mm. I, no, not for Tommy Deaton. I, I honestly so think... He'll go, he'll go to... I honestly think... Okay. Little body. Chromie. Chromie. I think... <laughs> and we said this yesterday. I think that he will be tasked with taking on Latrell Mitchell. And I reckon they'll bump Val out to the wing. Valda, Valdas to the wing? Yep. Latrell... Uh, sorry, uh, Brimo, right centre. Yes. <clears throat> Cromie. Or oh, actually, Brimo Cromie. played a lot of the left. The I will put the be buying, if that is the case and they line up, I will be buying a new vehicle with my ill-gotten gains getting on Latrell scoring four or more in a game. <laughs> four. <laughs> four or more. <laughs> oh, Brian's lost the plot. <laughs> I'm not lost the plot. Jesus. Let's if go I'm to the Broncos. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Spitting everywhere. Oh, so. Just, so, just so we're clear. <laughs> okay, what would you do then? I'm, no, I'm just thinking. I'm Latrell Mitchell. I've got Valdust on the, on the left wing, and I've got Brimson 
inside, and then I've got Daly Cherry Evans inside in. Yeah. I don't know what the sound is when you get a triple feature at a casino, <laughs> but that is a jackpot. <laughs> oh, I'm like an alarm. If I'm Latrell Mitchell. What, as opposed to what they could do. <laughs> no, I don't know, but I'm just saying, I'm looking up. I've got Daily Cherry Evans. Yeah. Mm. I've got Val Dust, and I've got AJ Brimson. Okay. Who? Give me the ball. Okay. Every, oh, oh, give me the ball now. <laughs> Listen to this. Excuse me, Queen of the <laughs> Night. What, what are you going to do if you see if you see Daily Cherry Evans Hello. alongside. Val Dust, Val Dust, alongside Dane Gago, who just got burnt twice by Mitchell Moses. I'd, Are you Queen of the Niling? Absolutely. I'm still doing the same thing. Yeah. I'm just licking my lips. <laughs> my chops are licking. <laughs> it's like those old cartoons where, like, the They're female all... coyote comes in. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, had a lot, we had a lot of luck down there anyway. Okay, what about this? this is oh. What about this? Could he, could he, would he do this? Just, you're rolling the dice. Yeah. Could he put for feeder and just say, Davey, here's some tapes of Mal Meninga. Go and take on Latrell. Could he do that? He could do that. He could do Would that. Would you still be playing the Queen of the Nile if you saw that? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing Queen of the As soon as you said Val Dust on the wing, I said, uh, lick those chops. Uh, what are you really gambling with? What are you really gambling with? What a great game this was. This, is, this remains not just grand final. This is the favourite game I've ever, ever watched. Set. It goes to Cleary. Nathan Cleary! Oh! Wow! Cleary's done it all himself! What a try! Well, he had to stand up. And he's just elevated himself. A uh, what a game that was. What a game that was. Barnell says, Brimson marking Latrell. Joel, have you been smoking Hong Kongs with Michael Phelps again? <laughs> Barnell, <laughs> tell me what your solution would be if you were William Dot Slater. I want solutions. Solutions I would be. You've just got to get into Cobbo's ear and say, listen, just give us 80 minutes of your best. So, so Cobbo, you versus Latrell. Just, mate, this is it. And who's on your wing? Have you got the Valdas or well, no? I don't really care. Probably <laughs> you've got to move Val there. He's goal kicking, isn't he? Yeah. He's kicking well. Still, I'm still licking my lips if I'm Latrell. I don't know. Chops that would be high. good, actually. You've got to get in his ear, though. Because you know how... Remember when... Uh, what origin was it when Latrell and Dane Gagai were into... They were teammates at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And they were into each other. Yeah, that's right. South, yeah. That was awesome. I'd love it. So if you're Billy, just get into Cobbo and say, Selwyn, get into this. Well, he's... Okay, so well, Sel, <laughs> Selwyn plays left centre... Can I throw this at you? Throw it at me. Could now. this happen? Throw it at my face. Selwyn like plays four year old girl. Sel- <laughs> Selwyn <laughs> plays left centre for the Broncos. Is there a world in which Selwyn plays left centre for Queensland? The hammer train goes back to the maybe, right to maybe, take on Latrell. Maybe, yeah. Are you now playing Queen of the Nile? No, not really. No, I'm petrified. I'm petrified yeah. now. The hammer. Yes. You've chipped Although, down from max stake now to the minor stakes, haven't you? Yeah. What are you really gambling with? Correct. I just want the um, minor jackpot. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I was on the Grande. Yeah. <laughs> <Grand> <laughs> I was getting ready to pay 30% tax to those people in Nevada. That's criminal as well. I don't want to get into that. Mm. You get over 1,200 in, in the pokies there in Vegas. You've got to give 30% to the and government. And they come racing over there. Oh, within a second. Play it down to 11.95. No, I try to. But the whole thing was oh, <laughs> And then I even try to get this... Uh, uh, one of the locals around here said, come and sit next to me and, and I'll give you an urn. Yeah. She goes, what What do you ask me for? I said, come and sit here. <laughs> was it Yoda? What do you ask me for? Was was for? No, she was a foreigner but living there and she said, what do you ask me for? And I said, oh, because I don't want to pay the tax. She goes, no, 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 no. no. They will get to you within 30 seconds. They will get to you. She knew. She had to be careful. Oh, right. Okay, what Don't you need it. to know though, Brooksy, is who's in, who's out for Panthers take on the Broncos. Broncos. Losing streak, big guns are back. Reese Walsh, Pat Carrigan, Payne Haas, all arrested last week over in New Zealand, so they'll be back. No, rested, rested. Uh, Dane Mariner shifts to the centre, and Corey Oates returns from his knee injury on the wing because Katoni Staggs is out this game. You've got Jack Gajewski and Fletcher Baker, who were both injured last week there, are out. Panthers, the Premiers, welcome back their Origin Stars. Plenty of Origin Stars coming back for this one. Dylan Edwards, Brian Toll, Jerome Luai and Liam Martin. Isaiah Yo returns to the starting lineup after he came off the bench last week against the Cows. Dane Laurie, Liam Henry and Matt Eisenhuth revert to the bench. Losing streak here, gents. Broncos in 10th position on the yeah. ladder. Two back from the Dolphins, Bulldogs, Cowboys, Dragons. How do you see it? Mm, I just worry. I just worry about their halves, the the Broncos at the moment, missing tackles, and Penrith 
won't play that bad again. I'm going Penrith. I'm going the Pennies. How many Panthers have won 13 of their last 15 at Suncorp? They it's love it. Melbourne Storm. They love it. But fast. Yep. Big, big crowd. Yeah. They absolutely love it. Let's move on now to this is a big game. Bulldogs take on the Warriors. Accor Stadium. Bulldogs uh, effectively are an undefeated home side. In saying that, the caveat is, of course, that um, they were beaten by South at Accor, but it was South City's home game. Warriors, just the one game this year, they lapped the bunnies. So both a very good, tidy record at Accor Stadium. Tourist, what do we got? No changes for the Warriors. Uh, they are unchanged. The Bulldogs, Connor Tracy, he is back from his concussion protocol. So he's in the number one jersey. So drink Shiraz, he is on the wing. Gerald Skelton is now 18th man. Uh, Kurt Mann returns to suspension, which means Blake Taff is in the reserves. Was he hooked by the by the way last week, young Skelton? Yeah, Did that you big see him tackle, come off? didn't he? But that was uh, it. I did not know. I didn't notice. It was a Friday night, wasn't it? Yeah, they yeah. were peppering him. Nah. But the Sharks just kept bombing him. I was at a funeral. Mm. I was Albert. Shark. <laughs> I was full Albert. of eye. Uh, you're Albert. Clover. Tigers taking on the storm. Leichhardt Oval. Here we mm. go. Uh, the West Tigers. What do we got here, gentlemen? We've got Charlie Staines comes in on the wing. So Fatape moves to the centres. Brent Naden drops out. John Bateman returns to the starting side. Heath Mason joins the bench. And Ruben Porter Goes to 18th man. Justin Olam is listed among the reserves as he looks to return from an injury. So does he come back? For the Melbourne Storm, this is good news. Fullback Ryan Pappenhausen is set to return. He had that foot injury, so Sua Falongo reverts to the bench. I think this Sua Falongo is now a staple of the 17, isn't he? Yes. No matter what happens. Yeah, it looks that way, yep. doesn't it? I think so. Xavier Coates sidelined by a hamstring injury. Kane Bradley comes to the starting side. Maroon Sooker, Kerry Grant. He remains... Ooh... He remains sidelined after he was rested from the Raiders game, which means you're going to have a scenario, ladies and gentlemen, where, like they had with Walsh, they're going to be first up in a big game. So Harry Grant will not be playing before teams are announced. They are announced this week, aren't they? Sunday. Yeah, yeah. so he won't be playing beforehand. Harry Grant is out. Remus Smith has been included as 18th man after making a comeback from concussion through New South Wales Cup last week. So there's the big changes there with the West Tigers at Leichhardt West taking on the Melbourne Storm. Cowboys take on the Seagulls. And Brian, as you pointed this one out, there was a big incident last time they met. No, not last time. No, but 2012 a in a semi final. Think Maradona. Think Argentina, Argentina versus England. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the hand of God. Jerry Evans kicks and Jamie Lyon from an onside position is chasing. The ball bounces and it's all over the place and Jamie Lyon is with it. Referee said six more tackles. It's play on, it's play on. And Manly will appeal for a try. Well, that is a massive call. A little contest. I know. It didn't, it, it didn't touch his floor hand. That's where the benefit of the doubt is, OK? He it didn't touch his hand. He can't clearly it say that it was touched by him. Twice. We've been robbed, mate. That's twice fine. Robbed. That's what he's called. That was JT just saying we were robbed. And he was robbed. So the year before, they played the Sharks and, 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 and something happened. Seven also. tackle try, yeah. Bo Ryan. Yeah. Yep. And it was the following year they played the Chooks and they were getting beat 32 zip and they... Came back to 32 30. And there was something else. And happened. there was a forward pass. Correct. It was, was a forward pass. So uh, I do remember that. And you were there, Brooks. What's your memory? What's your memory? I was, so I had four beers and I was walking down the stairs. How much did they cost right. you? Cost of living? Let's, oh, let's I don't know, down. but it probably would have been eight fifty. I think. Oh, then. Beer for back four? then? Yeah. No, no, not for four. Oh. Oh, I'm going to say. I think the round would have done me 36. Two for the tray, 34 for the beers. I'm saying it was less than 30. Two for the tray? You know they, that rot where well, you got to pay for the rot. tray? Really? Yeah, it was an old Where have you been? Go. I've never seen the two dollar pay for the tray. And, yeah, yeah Allianz Stadium, old, old school rot. too. Yeah, and you used to just take it back, and they'd knock you back. Goes, no, you need a new one. Oh no yeah, way! Heavy. Yeah, heavy. So I was walking down the stairs carrying them, and I saw it all happen, and went four and hit that because all my mates there were Manly fans. I was like, there's no way that's a try. Wow, that's a try. All right, let's go into the Cowboys. Let's get into this. Um, all their rep players are back. All their Origin players are back. So I raise you a Holmes, Tlungy, Dearden, Cotter, Nanai, Robson, all back. But the bench is pretty strong. Finnafil Wiaki, Sam McIntyre. I like Sam McIntyre. I like him as a player. Edwards, they're all on the bench alongside Griffith Neem. Sea Eagles fans, if you're driving, pull over. Put your feet up on the dash. Take your E-tag off. <laughs> Tom Trebojevic, <laughs> he's lining up at centre. Can you get over that? That's awesome. I love it. Oh, 
Oh, so, oh, I didn't know this. Cole is at fullback. Okay. What about young Lehigh, Hopawate? I thought he was going. Where's good. he? 14. He's on the bench. Oh, he's in the 14. So he's going to do the uh, Falongo. Is that, is that mm. mean they're a bit nervous about Tommy? Maybe. He's a bit of a backup. Dali Cherim's back. Jake Trebojevic and Ola Kawatu. They're all back. As is Josh Aloye. So he returns from his suspension. This is going to be a good game. You got the crap stuck. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> me. It's what, what I was going to say. Left. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Peel. Do you want to <laughs> hear it? Hang on. I've got to peel back the curtain. Yeah, peel it back. I'm going to peel back the curtain, listener. So we've all had to move down one. Yeah. When I say we move down one yeah. to our little apparat high here with our microphones. And Sugar is just late laying all over mine. <laughs> and he's just got up and he's just pressed my mute button. To try and have a sneaky talk back to Correct. Brasco. Luckily, he didn't drop the F word. No, no. Have. You know what the F word is. So, do you want to know the crap stat? Hit me. Manly's last 31 wins. 31 wins. 31. With Tommy Turbo. Yep. How many tries has he scored in Manly's last 31 wins where he's played? I'm going to say 25. What do you reckon, Brooks? I reckon more. I'm going to say 30 and 28. Okay, what do you reckon? Uh, 26. 26. So in the last 31, what are you oh, saying? 31? 30, are you saying th- so you're saying 31 from 31, the last 31 games. Okay, stay standing. And for those people who you asked to pull over, put your feet back on the dash and yeah. fix that ease tag back up. No, take it off. <laughs> Jam it back up. In the last 31 wins, and he's winning at about 70% when he plays, the last 31 wins with Tommy Turbo, he has scored... 45 tries. 45? Jesus. 45. Crap stack. That's crap, isn't it? That's not crap. That's impressive. 45 tries in the last 31, 31 wins where he's played. 31 wins. Where he's played. Okay, not 31 games. 45 tries. Okay, that must be some sort of record. That is ridiculous. That okay. is I've just... I've never heard anything like that. That is Dave ridiculous. That is DB. Yep. Dirtbag Brown. I like, I'm glad you like that. I okay. do like that. I'm yeah, still good thinking stuff. about it. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Brooksy. Oh, this this fixture, <sighs> Roosters, Dragons, Alliance. Last time that happened, wow, that was a debacle, wasn't it, for the Red V? But let's go back to 2005 and hear the Anzac Day memory of Matty Head. Head, will he get the bounce? He does. Here's a chance. Here's a big chance. Cooper, he's got best on his outside and he holds it. Does he get it down? It's a try, 24 all at Aussie Stadium on Anzac Day. He moves into it. Watch it on its way. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It is there. That's good. Honourable mention, not an Anzac Day one last year, the Matt Fianne try to win the game. Mm. Ryan Carr's first win yep. as an interim oh, coach. that's right. Uh, look, what Radley was... Uh, was put on report. Sort of was an interesting game for both teams there. Was that the kick in the dying stages? With yes. The Ten seconds to go. Was that a Cogra? Cogra. Yeah, good stuff. On a Friday. All right, Roosters. Following the news that Joey Manu will miss a month with his fractured hand. Michael Jennings gets a call up to join the back oh. line in the centres. Lindsay Collins takes back his starting role after coming off the bench in round 17 with Terrell May reverting to the interchange bench. For the Dragons, just a one change. Zachy Lomax coming back into the side for Matt Fiennes, who injured his shoulder. Jack Bird is also listed among the reserves as he works his way back from the ankle injury he had in the Bulldogs' loss in round 12. Okay. I have a crow here. Ooh. Is, yeah. Moses Su- Suley just scores. <laughs> Moses Suley. Any time. Moses Suley Thank just you. scores. Yeah, I can what see that. The hard centers are hard to catch. He scores. Yeah, probably. He's flying. A tough Anzac day for him. On the first play of the game, didn't That's get right. to play the rest Correct. of the game. Tom Eisenhuth he was didn't in the play center. last week, did he? Yeah. No, he missed the manly game. Surely he played oh, last hamstring week. in the warm up. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, I think yeah, I'm I'm with you, Fletch. That was a that was a brutal loss in the Anzac Day game for the Dragons. Sort of set the tone for the rest of the game. He's been enormous this year, Surely. Yeah, he has been enormous. Enormous. Yeah, Jack DeBellin's been enormous too. Is he playing his future club? There's been uh, many people mentioning him. What to the chalks? Yeah, have you not heard oh, that? I thought he was going the bunnies. Oh, okay, thought, that makes I, sense too. Bunnies, I thought Wayne yeah. was keen for. But him why, to get why the is he not done and dusted at the Dragons? That's my big question. He's flying, absolutely oh. flying. So there you go. Uh, let's move on to the Raiders and the Knights. This will close out round eighteen of the National Rugby League. Then the Origin teams will be announced. Five past four, GAO Stadium, where they have let their fans down. Cowboys lapped them. 
Roosters lap them. Sharks lap them. How do we see this one? Tourist. Well, when you're speaking of home games, in their next six games, the Raiders, looking at Fletcher's stats that he's given us yeah. here, uh, six of the, uh, sorry, four of their next six games are all at GIO. They have one game at Belmore, one one by. This is it for the Raiders. They wow. have to win. They have to win all these ones at home. You think if they have any chance. Uh, new look back line for Ricky Stewart. Uh, Ko Weeks is a fullback. Jordan Rapina is on the wing. Albert Hopawati in the centres. And the chef, Adam Cook, he's a halfback. Oh, Who's strange. that for? Red boy. Yeah, red boy. <laughs> um, so Adam Cook, I had a look here. New South Wales Cup. Last game out, he had two tries. Kicked five of five. 30 nil over Parramatta in New South Wales Cup. So I think that's why oh, Ricky's putting it back in. Uh, Simi Sasagi is on the interchange bench um, uh, instead of uh, Jordan Martin. Uh, big in for the Knights. Kalen Ponga, oh. he returns. Oh, he He's been named following his foot injury. What? Leo Thompson, he returns um, after being a late withdrawal uh, for Dylan Lucas. Uh, Phoenix Crossland, he misses the match. So Jaden Braley's in at number nine. And Fletcher Sharp is the utility on the bench. Big game. I love Big. the way you say bench. Bench. Oh, it's... Yes. The, the CH is a really pronounced... Can you say Jane... Jane? Dame. Dame? Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. Yeah. Can you say Richardson and Wrench? Richardson and Wrench. Oh, it's yeah, so good, good stuff. It's too frothing. Good stuff. Can too you is. say? Can you say for me, uh, Bratwurst? Bratwurst. <laughs> Worst. Oh, there was a few H's. Yeah, few oh, H's. Can you say shaken, not stirred? Shaken, not stirred. Teamless <laughs> Tuesday for Aussies living life on the go. Signet Power phone accessories go the distance, keeping you connected and protected. Pick one and a winner each week for the chance to win two and a half thousand dollars. Head to scnsurvivor.com.au All thanks to Brighton's lawyers. Our man, Troy Phillips from First Point Mortgage Brokers. He's in the house. We're going to catch up with him very, very shortly. More to come after this.